विच बोन इज द लॉन्गेस्ट इन द अपर लिम ऑप्शन सा शुमेरस रेडियस अल्ला और क्लैविकल द करेक्ट आंसर इज ए दिट इज ह्यूमेरस द ह्यूमेरस इज द लॉन्गेस्ट एंड लार्जेस्ट बोन इन द अपर लिम इट एक्सटेंड्स फ्रॉम द शोल्डर टू द एल्बो फॉर्मिंग पार्ट ऑफ द आर्म क्वेश्चन नंबर टू द हेड ऑफ द रेडियस आर्टिकुलेट्स विथ विच बोन ऑप्शन सा स्केप्यूला शुमेरस अल्ला और क्लैविकल द करेक्ट आंसर इज बी दट इज ह्यूमेरस द हेड ऑफ द रेडियस आर्टिकुलेट्स विथ द कैप्ट्यूलम ऑफ द ह्यूमेरस at the elbow joint allowing rotational movements of the forearm question number 3 which nerve supplies the deltoid muscle two options are radial nerve axillary nerve median nerve or ulnar nerve The correct answer is B. That is axillary nerve. The axillary nerve innervates the deltoid muscle, which is responsible for arm abduction beyond fifteen degrees. Question number four: What is the anatomical snuff box? Two options are a muscle in the hand. a depression on the lateral wrist a ligament in the elbow or a nerve plexus in the shoulder the correct answer is b that is a depression on the lateral wrist the anatomical snuff box is the triangular depression formed by the tendons of the thumb formed by the tendons of the thumb it houses the radial artery and can be used to palpate the scaphoid bone question number 5 which artery is the main blood supply of the forearm two options are ulnar artery radial artery brachial artery or axillary artery the correct answer is a that is ulnar artery the ulnar artery along with the radial artery supplies blood to the forearm it is larger and primarily contributes to the superficial palmar arch question number 6 hello friends welcome back to dear competitive exam youtube channel today you are attending 100 most repeated and most important question answer session based on upper limb and this is the part 1 of this series so let's challenge your quality of learning let's see what will be your score from this part 1 so do watch this video completely to make yourself more fit to answer any kind of questions and at the end if you find this video helpful then please do like subscribe and share this video to all your friends who are preparing for upcoming any kinds of medical exams let's continue question number 6 which muscle is responsible for flexion of the elbow two options are triceps brachii brachii biceps brachii deltoid or or brachioradialis the correct answer is b that is biceps brachii the biceps brachii is a major flexor of the elbow joint assisted by the brachialis and brachioradialis muscles question number 7 
what is the function of the rotator cuff muscles? Jo options are elbow movement, shoulder stabilization, wrist extension, or finger flexion. The rotator cuff muscles are supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, or subscapularis. Stabilize and rotate the shoulder joint. Question number 8. Which bone is most commonly fractured in the upper limb? Show options are Humerus, Radius, Clavicle, or Scapula. The correct answer is C that is clavicle. The clavicle is the most commonly fractured bone due to its subcutaneous position and role in absorbing forces during falls. Question number 9. The brachial plexus originates from which spinal roots? C5 to T1 C3 to C6, T1 to T5, or C1 to C4? The correct answer is A that is C5 to T1. The brachial plexus is formed by the ventral rami of spinal nerves. Those are C5 to T1, innervating the upper limb. Question number 10. What is the primary function of the flexor digitorum profundus muscle? Show options are flexion of the wrist, flexion of the distal interphalangeal joints, extension of the fingers, or pronation of the forearm. The correct answer is B that is flexion of the distal interphalangeal joints. The flexor digitorum, the flexor digitorum profundus, the flexor digitorum profundus muscle flexes the distal interphalangeal joints of the fingers, allowing fine motor control. Question number 11. Which joint connects the upper limb to the axial skeleton? Two options are glenohumeral joint, sternoclavicular joint, acromyoclavicular joint, or elbow joint. The correct answer is B that is sternoclavicular joint. The sternoclavicular joint connects the clavicle to the sternum, anchoring the upper limb to the axial skeleton. Question number 12. Which nerve is compressed in carpal tunnel syndrome? Two options are ulnar nerve, radial nerve, median nerve, or axillary nerve. The correct answer is C that is median nerve. In carpal tunnel syndrome, the median nerve is compressed as it passes through the carpal tunnel, causing pain, tingling and numbness in the hand. Question number 13. The olecranon process is part of which bone? Two options are radius. Alna, Shumeris, or Clavicle. The correct answer is B that is Alna. The olecranon process is the bony prominence of the Alna at the elbow, serving as an attachment for the triceps brachii. Question number 14. Which muscle forms the bulk of the anterior arm? Two options are 
കുരാക്കു ബ്രക്കിയാലിസ് ബൈസെപ്സ് ബ്രക്കിയായി ബ്രക്കിയാലിസ് ഓർ ട്രൈസെപ്സ് ബ്രക്കിയായി The correct answer is B that is biceps brachii. The biceps brachii forms the majority of the anterior arm and it is responsible for flexion and supination of the forearm. Question number 15. What is the primary action of the, the supraspinatus muscle? Two options are external rotation of the arm abduction of the arm flexion of the arm or adduction of the arm the correct answer is abduction of the arm the supraspinatus initiates the first 15 degrees of arm abduction before the deltoid takes over question number 16 which artery is palpated in the anatomical snuff box two options are ulnar artery radial artery brachial artery or axillary artery the correct answer is b that is radial artery the radial artery can be felt as it passes through the anatomical snuff box making it a key landmark for checking circulation question number 17 which carpal bone is most commonly fractured two options are lunate scaphoid pisiform or trapezium The correct answer is B that is scaphoid. The scaphoid is the most commonly fractured carpal bone due to its location and the force transmitted through the wrist during falls. Question number 18. Which ligament stabilizes the head of the radius at the elbow? Two options are annular ligament ulnar collateral ligament radial collateral ligament or interosseous membrane the correct answer is a that is annular ligament the annular ligament encircles the head of the radius holding it in place and allowing rotation Question number 19 What is the main function of the brachioradialis muscle Two options are flexion of the elbow extension of the elbow supination of the forearm or pronation of the forearm The correct answer is A that is flexion of the elbow the brachioradialis flexes the elbow especially when the forearm is in a neutral position thumb facing upward Question number 20 The radial nerve passes through which anatomical structure in the arm Your options are axillary region spiral groove intertubercular groove or carpal tunnel the correct answer is b that is spiral groove the radial nerve travels through the spiral groove of the humerus making it susceptible to injury in mid shaft fractures Question number 21 Which vein is commonly used for veni puncture in the upper limb Two options are cephalic vein basilic vein 
मीडियन क्यूबिटल वेन और एक्सिलरी वेन The correct answer is C. That is median cubital vein. The median cubital vein is easily accessible and superficial, making it a common site for drawing blood. Question number twenty-two: Which muscle is known as the boxer's muscle? Two options are pectoralis major. serratus anterior deltoid or latissimus dorsi the correct answer is b that is serratus anterior the serratus anterior helps in protraction of the scapula essential for punching movements earning it the name boxer's muscle question number 23 What is the insertion of the triceps brachii? Two options are radial tuberosity, olecranon process, coronoid process, or acromion. The correct answer is B. That is olecranon process. The triceps brachii inserts on the olecranon process of the ulna, allowing elbow extension. Question number twenty-four: Which nerve is responsible for wrist drop? Two options are median nerve, ulnar nerve, radial nerve, or axillary nerve the correct answer is c that is radial nerve injury to the radial nerve leads to wrist drop as it innervates the extensor muscles of the wrist question number 25 which structure passes through the carpal tunnel two options are ulnar nerve radial artery flexor digitorum tendons or extensor tendons the correct answer is c that is flexor digitorum tendons carpal tunnel contains the flexor digitorum tendons and the median nerve surrounded by the transverse carpal ligament time is to comment your score out of 25 questions and friends thanks for joining us on this exciting journey if you enjoyed the quiz and learned something new then give us thumbs up and let us know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our upcoming exploration of fascinating topics in the medical field until the next time stay curious stay healthy see you